And over to the UK, where Bank of England has hiked rates for fifth time in a row. This has inflation soared. And economy unexpected shrank by 0.3% in April. This after 0.1% contraction in March, its first back-to-back -back decline since April and March of 2020. OECD has forecast UK will be the weakest G7 economy next year as higher interest rates, tax rises and reduced trade and spiraling food and energy prices hammer households. Earlier, adding to fears of recession, UK's economy slowed down in month of April. This has economic output declined for second month in a row. Data for month showed UK economy has stalled as decade high inflation accelerated and supply disruptions hit manufacturing hard. Earlier, we spoke to Beyond correspondent Julia Chapman on the state of affairs of UK economy and some recent steps taken by the government. Let's listen to her. Certainly more pressure building on British households. The government says it is taking steps to help mitigate some of the effects, many of them global pressures, uh, including, of course, the war in Ukraine, uh, the shutdown of production in many parts of China, uh, putting more and more pressure on prices here in the UK, which are going up and are predicted to continue to do so over the course of the year. What the British government has announced is that there will be a one-off payment for roughly the poorest 8 million households households in the UK. This is at a cost of 15 uh, billion U uh, British pounds. Uh, they are going to offer this support payment to uh, those on means-tested benefits, so those that are already receiving some sort of support package from the government on a regular basis uh, because of need. Uh, so this is certainly expected to help in some way uh, mitigate the effects of rising inflation, but it is only a one-off payment. Uh, the other thing that the government is doing is offering an energy rebate. That was already announced earlier this year at being 200 pounds per household. They've doubled that to 400 pounds per household now. So these steps are being taken in an effort to make things a little bit easier for uh, the UK residents that are going to the shops and finding that food prices are continuing to rise. As this report says, they could rise by 15% later in the summer. Uh, food inflation at the moment year on year is at 7.8%, but very likely to continue rising. We on now available in your country. Download the app and get all the news on the move.